Hey guys, I'm Captain Chris Velasquez of Mandolin Charters and Mouths of the Merrimack. And today I want to talk about a product that we just recently found, actually searching on the internet, that solved a lot of my problems um, that I've been having with storage when it comes to my soft plastics. As a charter captain that uses a lot of soft plastics, um, we have to be ready for a bunch of different situations with different sizes, different types, different colors. You know, then we add on the jig heads or are we weightless and coming up with a system where everything was in one spot was a challenge of mine for years. I've done many different things. I've done Plano boxes. I've done just keeping them in the bags and throwing them in a market basket bag. Uh, I've used them. I stored them outside in tackle webs around my boat. But the problem was I didn't have a spot where they were all together. And I also had issues with, you know, with the Plano boxes, I can only fit so many Plano boxes in a milk crate that I usually keep in my console. So I was losing space for other things that I would have to use. You know, when you're dedicating two full 3,700 deep Planos to just uh, unrig sluggos, you're basically keeping two Planos for one lore, right? So... By looking for other methods to, to solve my storage issue, I'm now able to get more into my milk crate. So let me just give you an example of what I'm talking about. So here's the milk crate right here that I keep inside my console. I have a perfect amount of space that this fits perfectly in there. And the problem is when I was fishing with a lot of soft plastics, they would take up two boxes. Like you can see here, I, I had it labeled as seven inch and then that one over there was nine inch. And I'd have to go back and forth, pick things out, and I would have less room for lures, okay? So in rethinking of what I was going to be doing for 2023, I was looking for a place to store all my soft plastic jig heads, my, my unweighted hooks, my different sizes, my different colors. Uh, we went through a bunch of different options. I ordered and returned a bunch of things. I looked at the local shops and couldn't find anything I liked. And when I had just about given hope, uh, Dan from Miles of the Merrimack, my partner, actually found one online. I took a look at it, I ordered it, and I couldn't be happy with it after I put it together last night. And that product is here, this bag from Reaction Tackle, okay? I um, think it was on sale for like 50 bucks, somewhere around there. Um, but man, I couldn't be more impressed. It's a perfect size. And wait till you see me open this thing up and what kind of stuff it, it can fit in here. It's ridiculous. This bag already has saved me about three Plano boxes. Three 3,700 size and uh, one or two 3,600 size with all the stuff I was able to cram in here. It's mobile. I can put it right on top of my crate when I'm in the boat and don't have to worry about it sliding around or breaking anything. And um, it's made of really high quality stuff. All right. It's a real thick, I don't know, twill fabric. Okay. So hooks aren't going to poke through. It's going to be able to take a beating. Your stuff is safe in here. It's not going to get rusty. All right. Um, so let's take a look and see how I ended up setting this up. All right, so dimension-wise, I measured this out earlier. It's roughly about 12 inches long, 4 inches high, and about 8 inches deep, okay? You have a little pocket right here. Mine is completely stuffed. I put, I ordered some extra sleeves to store some sluggos in there as well, um, but you can still fit, like, hook packets, maybe leader material in there, um, and same thing on this side. You more have a mesh. I was able to fit some glues in there, um, which is another thing I used to keep in a Plano box with all my jig heads and stuff. So now I can keep them right here in one spot ready to go. You have a carrying handle. Believe it or not, this thing's pretty heavy right now. Um, and so this is nice to just as you move it along the boat, you don't have to worry about it crashing and hitting anything, cutting up your gel coat. You know, you can carry it down to the beach with you. You can carry it onto a friend's boat. Just a really nice, tough design. All right, now let's talk about the meat and potatoes of this thing. When I open this up, it's gonna be like an alligator mouth or like an accordion. I have this thing stuffed with a bunch of sleeves. And I can't believe it all fits in here in that nice compact package. 
So one of the things when I was looking for, for my storage, I fish a lot of big sluggos in the 9 and 12 inch range. And all the other soft plastic cases did not have the ability to hold 9 inch sluggos, at least the ones that I found. And the ones that I did really had crappy bags that were holding them. These are really tough. They have zippers and they hold a ton. So before I get into the bags, let's just talk about what you have on the side here. So here you have some more storage, okay? I'm gonna be putting um, all my weedless hooks in these um, as I go. I'm gonna just take them and put them back in the packaging and throw them in there. Um, I just happen to have these laying around. So um, once I get that set up, this will be my weedless hooks in all my different sizes. You know, I have ones for my seven inches and ones for my uh, nine inches here. Okay, so as I go through, take a look. These are nine inch sluggos. Um, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I took about another ten out to rig. So you can really stuff these things up. And I got different colors. I got my darks right there. Okay, I got my whites. So as I rigged up a few yesterday, it looks like I had to order another bag of those. Okay, I have my special colors. I'll flip through that one quick. Now I start getting, these are my seven and a half inch. Okay, we're dropping down in size. Seven and a half inch in dark. Okay, six inches in dark. Six inches in white. So I got my six, my seven and a half, and nines, and at least two different colors, all in here ready to go for when I need to replace a tail, for when I need to add a jig head on, or for when I need to just um, fish them weedless. But then, this also comes with two extra with two other pouches that are separated. So in here, I was able to get some of my small paddle tails. You know, if schoolies come around, they're fishing on small bait. We have the Savage Sand Eel, which is always a winner up in my area. We have some Hoagie um, Pro Tails. Okay, typically use these colors a little bit more. Uh, the whites and the olives and silvers. Okay, and then I even have enough room here to take my Albi Snacks and different various colors and stick them through there. And that pretty much covers most of my soft plastic fishing, actually probably 99% of it, um, right in here. And I got everything in here in one spot, including the glues and the hooks that will eventually go in here, okay? And then probably gonna even get another, I was gonna get another pouch and put my jig heads in another pouch. Uh, so that might be the way to go. So everything's accessible, okay? I actually bought, this comes with four of these and the other ones that are separated into the twos. So I ordered uh, a pack of four extra ones. So all together, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the big pouches, okay? Come stock with four. And I got one, two of these. All right, so I was essentially able to take all those, all those boxes that I separated nine inch and seven inch and six inch and the hooks and the, and the jig heads and all that stuff and was able to put it all here in one easy movable spot. Now you would think if you look at this, it's stuffed. You would think this would be really tough to close, but not at all. Boom, two seconds, done, ready to go. And again, you probably will not have this much stuff to carry in there. So you could keep your jig heads or your other different types of, uh, of hooks in there. I might actually get one more pouch with the two dividers just to throw my jig heads. But what this also allows me to do now is now I can make a pre-made jig box where these are all rigged, ready to go in a hard case that I can pull out as needed. So I have all different sizes here rigged up, all with different size jig heads, anywhere from uh, three eighths of an ounce, and these ones go up to an ounce and a half. Um, so I get enough to fish four guys in white, four guys in, in, in docks, and just be able to switch off between different size jig heads and different size baits all in one spot, pre-rigged. Now you could easily just do this and keep a package of it, keep it in a pouch in here, okay? But this is just another way I can 
have my jig head ones ready to go. And if I need to go unweighted, I can just grab them right out of here. All right. So that's reaction tackle. It is the deluxe bag. Okay. We got it. I got it right through the website. Dan found it on Amazon. Um, so good little tip there. All right, if you guys are looking for what to do with your soft plastics, how to get it in a nice area, a uh, nice easy to carry area. Um, so far, you know, 12 years of doing this as a guide now, uh, this has been the best one. I'm looking, really looking forward to using it. All right, thank you for watching, guys.